Hey folks, this is my first uh, YouTube live, so we're going to give it a try. I'm going to get on the Instagram lives too. This is crazy. I've never done this, so, well, I have on Instagram, so forgive me if I'm crazy and weird. There we go. Now we can get the Instagram going as well. Sweet. And there's my dog. Looks like not a lot of people are getting on here, so we'll see. Oh, no. So this is Beer with Jen, the bearded lady. And I might just quit this one and go on to my Instagram Live. Hey, everybody. I'm on YouTube, too. I don't know which one's better, and I don't know how to do this awesome craziness because there's too many things going on. Like way too many things going on. Here we go. I feel like there. There we go. Okay. This is Beer with Jennifer, the bearded lady on Thursday nights. Welcome. And this is interesting. All right. Tonight I am drinking a, I have dogs too, um, a Everything Rhymes with Orange from Reptile Brain, and we actually got from the Bearded Monk over in Denton, so cheers, and it is delicious, I'm going to put it in a koozie because it's warm outside, so excuse me. Um, lots of things are happening as of late. Hey, you two people, this is, thank you for joining, this is crazy. This is like so many things going on at once. Um, so yeah, I am getting out of the dental hygiene career. I Unfortunately, my body is not doing as well as I thought it would in the hygiene side. And so we're moving on, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I am now going into what I've been doing for y'all lately and creating great content, doing awesome things as much as I can for everybody that follows me and drinking good beer, going to cool places, always giving you the best things that I can and create a bearded family of sorts is what I'm trying to plan on, trying to plan, planning on doing. And I also want to go into the bearded organics, of course, um, so that is going to be growing as well. We'll see where it goes. I'm really excited. I can't wait to bring the best content and more cool things for y'all to use and look at and watch and dogs barking. I mean, you always like to listen to dogs bark. There's nothing wrong with that. But yeah. So that's what's going on in my life. I hope everything is going awesome in your life. There's a couple of things that I wanted to talk about this season because, you know, this is like transition season. I feel like whenever we are in fall, it is the perfect time to look at different beers. Right now, I've been like summering it up with IPAs and wheats and blondes and all of that kind of stuff. We're now transitioning and I love sours as well during the summer years, summer years, summer uh, season. Okay, Jennifer can't even think what she's saying, but whatever, it's okay. We, I feel like we're all transitioning to browns. So you're going from blonde to brown, which I'm going from brown to blonde. So we'll see what happens, you know, it's whatever. I can do whatever I want. I can be blonde if I want. And my favorite is going from IPAs to stouts, although I continue to drink IPAs during all seasons. Stouts, I definitely have to wait until it's a little bit colder outside because it gets real hot. And I don't like to drink hot stuff outside when it's hot because guess what? In Texas, it gets about 100 and what? We had like a triple digits, 100 above 100 for, I think we broke a record this year. So love that. Oops, I said fuck. Oh, well. Anyways, 
Um, this beer is delicious. There's flies out here too. I would love to show you the cows that live next door. I moved out to a suburban area where there are cows and things. So it's amazing out here. So one day you'll hear them moo. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that I love to hear from y'all. What's your favorite transition beer? Whether it be a brown, I'm digging kind of the fruited, I know I said IPAs and stuff, but I'm digging the fruited, fruited IPAs and that's transitioning. I think that's kind of a transition beer as well because it is totally like, for example, the beer that I'm making with Denton County Brewing Company, it's a small batch. Oh, 100 days straight for 100 days. Oh, gosh. Las Vegas was like 100 days straight over 100. That sucks. Really bad. I'm sorry. I love to hear what the best transition beers are, um, especially ones that I haven't tasted. But what I was saying is I like the fruited IPAs like I'm making right now. Um, the it's gonna be a blueberry milkshake. I feel like those are perfect for this time of year and creating kind of a transition IPA almost because it's a little warmer. At least blueberry is. I feel like blueberry is kind of it's a summer berry. Who am I fucking kidding? But I feel like it is the way I wanted it is is like it's like a blueberry muffin feel. And I think that's kind of folly. Yep, I say fall, and it's still 90 degrees out here. So, you know, screw me, right? We'll see. Um, I can't wait to try my beer. We're going to put a few more things in it, and it is going to be ready at Denton County Brewing Company for everybody that is out in Denton County. <laughs> I just had a phone call. Hello? No, I'm just kidding. But other than that, I, you know, people are saying barley wines and barley wines, I feel like are a great transition too. You kind of have, I guess I had the wrong one. I had to deal with the devil the other night and it was like too much for me to handle. And so that was way too much. But barley wines are a really good transition beer. I didn't even think about that. And it's fantastic. I feel like Amber's Browns, um, barley wines, not the super fruited sours, but just kind of like gozas are really, really good. Excuse me. And with this comes burps. But yeah, so that is what I wanted to talk about, as well as the transition of. Dallas to coming out to D Little D, Denton. Little, little D. I do love sours. Old Dales are pretty good, too. But Old Dales, they can, they can get a little cognac-y. Not yucky, but cognac-y. A little boozy. But yes, I, I agree totally. I agree totally with all of the things that you guys are saying, and those are such good suggestions, and I need to broaden my horizons, because, you know, when I go out, I'm like, can I have an IPA, please? Can I have an IPA, please? Can I have an IPA, please? IPA, please? Yes, IPA. IP, IPA. All day. Just kidding. That was obnoxious. Um, yeah. Those are ones that I need to try, and I need to get into, so thank you for your suggestions. The sours, sours are great transition beers. I definitely think Goza's, how Goza it, no, I'm just kidding. Goza's are great transition beers as well. Sours can get really belly turning whenever it's summer and it's hot. So I feel like they're closer to winter. Man, sours are just one of those weird ones. If your tummy's not feeling it, your tummy ain't feeling it. You're like, um, I either need to go poo-poo or I need to throw up. I don't know what's going on. And that's my Bubba, Ollie. Come here, Bubba. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, he's not coming. Sorry. You don't get to see my dog. There's my dog. Hello, Ollie. So, 
transition beers are another thing I love to talk about. And of course, my favorite subject is women in craft beer, but you know, that's for another day. I love to vent about that kind of stuff. Um, but yes, let's see. What is going on? Let me see what's going on. Okay. Is it cold where you guys are? Because it's hot here still. It is so hot. So, like, I'm talking about those transition beers. Oh, my God, there's so many flies. I'm talking about those transition beers. But it's, like, 90 degrees outside. So I'm drinking an IPA. And I will drink IPAs until it gets cold, which will be never. I don't know. What are some things, um, since I've kind of got my, you know, venting out, I guess, um, besides some of the different female things that I was thinking of, it's getting so much better. But there's some things that I'm like, mm, let's see. I don't know about that. I don't know. But we'll see. What are some interesting subjects that you guys like for me to talk about today and in future beers with Jen on Thursday nights because Thursday Thursdays have to be a thing again. I'm sorry that I've been off of it forever because it's been a long time. And give me some subjects that you guys want to hear about from me. Give me some ideas. Message me. I, I, it's so hard to read all these comments that are coming in. I'd love to see, hear, get messages, um, ideas on what you guys want to hear my opinion about, which is crazy. Um, sometimes it's crazy, sometimes it's not. Sometimes, and they almost hit the chair, but they didn't. Sometimes it's crazy, sometimes it's obscene, sometimes it's vulgar, whatever. Give me what you guys want to hear about what my opinion is. Um, I'm really, I don't get to go to Great Texas, or Great Texas Beer Fest. Oh my gosh, Great American Beer Fest. I didn't get tickets in time. Anybody knows anybody that has some extra tickets, love it. Give them. If not, I will be there next year. Um, I'm going to continue to bring you guys the greatest things that I can do all the time. Home brewing tips. Interesting. Yes, I think that's a great one. I also have a great idea for funny episodes. I'll let you, uh, and it includes nude cans. Crazy, crazy, crazy nude cans. Yeah, I'm thinking about making some episodes about some nude cans. Nude cans, what do you say? I don't know what nude cans are. We'll find out. There's two types of cans. There's these cans, there's other cans. You know, you never know. You never know. We'll find out. This Everything Rhymes with Orange. Also, is delicious. It is an IPA. Um, it rhymes with orange. No, I'm just kidding. Everything doesn't rhyme with orange. That's the funny part. But it is a very one of their easy drinking. Comes in a six pack. This size can. Perfect. Can down it. You don't have to do much with it but it makes you happy at the end of the day. And that's what beer does, right? It makes you happy. That's all that matters. So please, how many beers deep am I? I'm only one. I've had a couple today. It's not an any IPA. It's a any IPA. Get it? Any IPA. It is a IPA. I P A. Yeah. So yeah. I'd love to bring this back with a force that can be reckoned with. No. Force that can be, you know, talked about. I like to be silly too. So I mean if my goofy faces are too much for you, please tell me. But it's too fun to be silly. So I'd love to start some Thirsty Thursdays with some other people, maybe like a little sit down where I'm at. I don't know if that's a good idea either. You let me know. But yes, please message me. I love to hear about it. Um, I'm nearly done with this. I can chug it or I can hang out with you guys for a little bit. 
if I check it, I have to go. But look at that. This is what happens when you're a girl. And you try to be pretty. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, my teeth are straight, by the way. Bitches. You, you see that? That That is a stick on my tooth. Yeah. Just because, y'all. Because I wanted to be pretty for this this uh the video. But this is what happens when you try to be pretty. You get lipstick on your teeth. You see that? Lipstick on your teeth for you guys. Should I leave? Oh, I, I, I should have left it on there, huh? Oh, sorry. I don't want to flick you off. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So. Ugly face. Um, that's what happens when I try to be pretty is that I get lipstick a hold of my tooth and then it gets all out of here. But you know what? I look somewhat pretty. I hope. Maybe not. You may not think so. I don't care. I'm drinking this really fast, so it's hitting me pretty fast, too. I can't. I can put Lister Teeth on it anytime. Thank you. I think I got it off. Did I get it off all the way? I did. Okay. We're good. We's good in the hood. Um, yes. Please email me slash message me anything that you guys want to talk about, topics, all of those things. Right now, I, I, <laughs> thanks. Right now, I just got one that, uh, it says, what frustrates you about the craft beer or the community? About craft beer or the community. I'm moving this too much. Sorry, guys. What frustrates me mo most about craft beer This is gonna kinda go, I'm kinda drank, drunk, 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 drunk. Um, I hate that uh, there's a difference between opening a microbrewery and not having the support for your crew, your employees to create, you know, a, uh, To give them health insurance, to do all this, but yet when not selling out because there are some few craft people like Canarchy and some other people that are coalitions, I guess you would say, that are coming about that give the opportunity for these breweries for distribution and for health insurance for their employees. It is so important to keep your employees happy and healthy. And when it comes to people selling out, it's kind of like this weird catch that you're like, oh, wait, should I, should I, should I do this to get, to give, you know, things to my employees to make them happy? We can do insurance, we can do 401ks, we can do all of the above. That's great. Lo and behold, I don't really drink. I aim am bev unless it's bourbon county in which case if there may be like one out of 10 maybe one out of 50 that don't drink bourbon county i know y'all are craft supporters but i know a lot of you will go ape shit over some bourbon county so don't lie i do too i love myself some bourbon county that's like the the only ones unless I'm like out and someone's like oh yeah do you want Carbock or a revolver and then we have Miller Light or Blood Light and I'm like well shit what am I going to pick obviously the Shiner Carbock or revolver but that's something that frustrates me a lot about the beer industry I think there should be more coalitions or co-ops that could help support the craft breweries really um, I don't know how we could fix that uh and again, there's also, oh God, there's mosquitoes out. Will you tell me if you see one on my on my body? Looks like a mosquito. I got my mosquito spray out here. It's time for sneeze. Now I'm gonna have to check this beer and go inside. Um, but 
I disagree with them selling out. So I don't drink that. Um, except for me, can. That's it. If I'm going to go into a grocery store, I'm going to pick my craft beers. I, I'm going to pick my craft beers. I'm going to choose those first. I'm going to leave behind all the people that have sold out. I mean, even like smaller ones that have sold out. I'm so weird. I try, I really try to support the craft, but I wish they had more support from people. Um, I just got a mosquito bite. Motherfucking mosquitoes. <laughs> now I have to put mosquito spray on. Excuse me. Well, I, I, I put mosquito spray on. Another thing that bothers me about the craft beer community. Um, is, sorry, well, I put this on myself, so I don't get Zika. Um, another thing that bothers me about the craft beer community is, which is getting so much better, support to all my girls out there, is that it's still, it's still male-oriented. <coughs> you okay, bub? It's still male-oriented. That's not going to change, because, you know, I'll leave my, my things for another day. Um, most things are male-oriented, so, you know, whatevs. The industry is still male-oriented. And there's still comments that I get every once in a while, which is wild, or I hear about other people getting that I support and I love. About, you know, not knowing beer well enough. Whether you don't know about beer or not, and you're a female and you enjoy drinking it, it doesn't fucking matter. You can enjoy it. We got some girl brewers out there. I'm trying to help with brewing. I'm trying to volunteer as much as I can to help with brewing so I can understand it even better. So I can understand beer even better because I love beer. This is my, this is my passion, is beer. And so to see people get, excuse me again, I'll just drink this. Um, to see people get dogged on for that is still, to this, to today, is still really annoying. I know that every one of you that follow me and watch me, I hope that you guys don't dog on females. There's a lot of people that follow me. And I hope to God that you guys are not like, you don't know that much about craft beer. Um, that would be really uncool, but you know, whatever floats your boat. That's another thing, and vice versa. So, for example, my blueberry uh, milkshake IPA. Someone's gonna come in and be like. <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm a guy. I don't want fruity things. What? Do you like milkshake IPAs? Do you like blueberries? Yeah, cool. They're just together. So that's another thing. Guys think that they're like too, you know. That's my new thing. Guys are like, to drink a blueberry milkshake IPA. I don't know if y'all will because you guys appreciate milkshake IPAs and you like them. So, yes. I did say blueberry milkshake IPA. I'm almost done. So it is coming up to an end. But there's a few things that I think that big the first subject was pretty big and pretty like heavy hitting because that's like a huge, a huge thing. And I I, I don't I really try to support the craft uh, as much as I can. The second thing we're just going to have to learn to deal with it and we're just going to have to prove guys wrong whenever they come in and that I know beer and that I have a beer Instagram that I can do all of that. And, you know, that's just a thing that we're going to have to put up with. So might be a little stereotyping, but guys not liking. Okay. Colt. Sorry. 
Colt loves fruity beers. He loves them. But I did hear, like, earlier today, you know, like, just the generic guy. You're not generic because, obviously, you hang out with me and drink fucking atrial all the time. So, meh. But not stereotyping. There are some men that you will say, hey, you should really try this. I think you would love it. And they're like, hmm, that's too fruity for me. Let me have a lager or let me have a, you know, just a regular West Coast IPA. All of those are fantastic. But then you're like, try this one. Really try it. And then they like it. I have. I'm part of the Pink Boot Society officially. Yes. Yes, Queen. Um, I need to post about that soon. Yes. yes, I am part of that. They are doing great things about beer and women in beer. So rock on. Yes. That is like amazing. They are. And I'm, ta I'm preaching to the choir right now because y'all follow me and I think you guys appreciate females that are in craft beer and that appreciate beer. So you guys just need to be out there telling them what's up. Like if you ever hear a guy being stupid, go over there and be like, hey man, can you shut the fuck up? She knows what she's talking about. Duh. I'm at the end of my beer. Any last questions before I go? I'm going to finish it. And I can answer one boy's comment. What the fuck? What flock boy say? What what flock boy? What flock boy? You have to repeat it. I haven't seen it. Okay, sorry. There's like one more sip, and I really, really, really appreciate you guys following me. YouTube, sorry. YouTube, hit subscribe. Insta, go to YouTube. Um, <laughs> someone said, the craft beer community can be snobbish. Drink what you like. Cheers. So true. So true. I am one of the snobbier ones. Only because I like to drink random different things. And not generic things. But that's because my palate is like really into other things. Um, <laughs> I just burped and that was intense. Um, YouTube, thank you for following me. Subscribe, please. Instagram, Bearded Family, I love you. Thank you for following me. Try following the YouTube. I'm going to be putting more things on YouTube. So get on there and follow my ass. It's going to be fun. I'm going to be doing the uh, random things that I'm thinking of in my life. Yeah, so that's about it. I hope you all have a great night. And, yeah, it was a good beer burp. It was, it was too intense. I, 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 I coughed. I coughed, and it was intense. And that, my friends, was a beer with Jennifer on a Thirsty Thursday. I hope you guys have a fantastic night. And like my friend says, don't be snobby. Drink what you like as long as it's crap. But I'm just kidding. You can drink dosa if you want to. But enjoy your beer. Cheers. I didn't, I didn't fart. Don't worry. I know it sounded like that.